Hi, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be using this slime on these tires. Brand new tires actually. Got a great deal on them on eBay. They were holding there for a month. I had them installed and then two of them started to go flat about every two weeks and now 10 days. Took them in to have them looked at and the guy said since it's every 10 days it's hard to pin it down as to what the problem is. So I figured, you know, he said pin it kind of sparked um, my imagination. And I figured one of these little pin pricks is going around and maybe uh, putting tiny holes in the tire. I don't know. I put some dish soap on it and I didn't see any bubbles. So it's very, it's a very slow leak. These are new valves. I had new valves installed so I know it's not that. I've seen Ghostbusters. I'm just going to send Slimer in there and see what kind of results I get. Alright, so this tire slime has to go around the valve core. There's a core that's a major portion of the valve there, and on the top here they have a cap, and um, you unscrew it, and then there's a valve core tool right here. I have the valve core tool, but I um, strategically misplaced it today, so I'm sure I'll see it tomorrow. But this is nice because they give you one, and you just put it in, and it, it grabs that core. And there. Now the air is going to come out. I've got this jacked up because I don't want it to go all the way to the floor, to the ground. So I might shoot this out. I'm going to put my sunglasses down. the core it's a new one too so once that lets all the air out on the side of the bottle underneath the instructions there's this tube now this needs to come off here pretty self-explanatory there's directions I read it while I was in the store. It's pretty simple. Take the core out, put this on. Now this is 32 ounces, so I have enough for two tires. And then just squeeze in half the 32 ounce bottle. You could probably do the whole thing. As you can see, it's going in real easy. I've actually never done this before. It takes a bit of pressure. So it's going to be a little bit hard to judge exactly half. That's a pretty good, at least a third. Just by weight, I'm going to go ahead and look inside. Yeah, that's about a third. I'll go a little more. a lot easier than I thought it would be. Now you gotta wonder if the, who designed this if they have a lot of problems with flat tires. You know some people just want to watch and walk around the neighborhood and knock on all the doors and ask questions and stuff. They think it's funny so it's possible it was in a grocery store parking lot or maybe I just ran something over but it was uh, almost undetectable. So there it is. That's half of it. I almost feel like blowing that out. I don't know. It seems weird to... I guess this is a little bit doing what you got to do. So I'm just going to take this core and put it back in. Now since this would hold air for 10 days, I can easily pump it up, it would have stayed up anyway. But now the next time I drive it, could be today, tonight, this evening, it's going to bounce that around, especially as I hit potholes and things. It'll spray it around the whole inside of the tire, and then I should be good to go. So I'll report, and I'll let you know if it's holding up after about a month.
So it looks like after a month, the tire's holding up pretty good. It's got to be at least 25 pounds. It's probably 30. It doesn't pull at all. If you know anybody that's having the same problem, please share the video with them and it'll help them out and so they have some type of uh, avenue to take to fix their problem, at least temporarily. If they have a lot of sidewall damage, of course, you wouldn't want to do this long term or drive it on any kind of public roads. That's it for today. If you'd like to, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel, share the video. You'll see me in the next one.